All right, guys, here is an EOC style question relating to exponential functions. And I'm Dr. Eric. All right, it says the graph of the exponential function is shown below. Which function has the same end behavior for large positive values of x? So if I look here, and I am going to graph it in a second, but large values of x, here's x. So it's thinking, what's going to happen over here? Now, maybe you already know this. This number tells you where there's going to be an asymptote, where there's no way the graph can cross. But let's pretend you didn't know that information. So I'm going to kind of move these over a little bit so we can see more of our graph. And let's take a look right here. So first, I'm going to type in the function that they gave us. Let's type in our f of x. So we've got 4 times 0 0.5 to the x power and then plus two. And real quick, let's say you didn't know how to put that X there. Right here, this 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 AB button. So you hit the AB button and that lets you put the X. I use shift six, but the on here, it's the AB button and then you put your X. And then you've got plus two. So this is the graph we're talking about. So we wanna know which one of those answer choices will line up with a graph toward the end, okay? So you know me, instead of typing g of x, I like to type a of x for the first letter a. So we're trying question a, choice a, and I'm just typing that in. And when I look, it doesn't look anything like it. So it's not going to be choice a. So now let's choice, do choice b. So I'm going to change this a to b. And we'll change this outside stuff. We have 0 0.5 there. 1.1, and then we've got plus two. So when I look at this, again, it doesn't, their end behaviors aren't matching. The red one's kind of chilling down, the blue one's going whoosh. So that doesn't help us. All right, let's type in choice C. C is four is my initial value. 0 0.8 is my base value. And it says plus three. So when I look here, if I go out, yes, they kind of cross near each other, but here's our problem. All the way over here, they don't touch, they're off. So it's the closest one, but it's not the same. So now we're gonna do our last one, which is 0 0.5 on the outside, 0 0.8 on the inside, plus two. And then look at that. Notice how no matter how far out I zoom, even though they don't look the same in the beginning, it says which has the same large n values. And I'm already at 100 and it looks like it's almost the exact same line. Like I would have to really, 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 really zoom in. I can't even zoom in that much. It's the same. So it would be choice, I didn't change it, it would be choice D because choice D is 0 0.5 times 0 0.8 to the x power plus two. Now it says which function has a y-intercept of one? So I'm going to just delete these and we'll just type them in. It wants y-intercept so I'm going to zoom myself back out and underneath my head I could have zoomed a little bit differently but we'll just do this. Boom. We want a y-intercept of one. Okay so we're going to just test it out. I'm going to put a of x for choice a. 5, 2, to the x. Well, that crosses at 0.5, or at 0, 0.5, so that's not it. Let's type in choice B. And you can type it, you, you can type in f of x. I like to not be confused, so I like to change the letters. All right, when we look at that one and zoom in here, that crosses at 5.5, .5, so that's not the right answer. Let's try C. All right, let's zoom and see where C crosses. C crosses at two, so that's not the right answer. Point 0.5 to the X. Oops, that's not the right one. 0 0.5 parentheses, 2 to the x plus 0 
And if we look at the red one, that crosses at a y-intercept of 1. And if remember, if you want to just turn the graphs off, you just click the colors and it turns it off. And so that's even easier to tell that the red one goes through 0, 1. Bye.